This is a video on how to do time lapses using Canon 5D Mark II camera and the Magic Lantern software. Magic Lantern is a product, it's a piece of software that uh, isn't, isn't supported by Canon but it was put together by developers for Canon cameras and you can load the software onto your camera through your memory card and it gives you more functionality to do things like time lapses, HDR bracketing and other things that aren't on the camera by default. So this is the view from my back window and we'll take a quick time lapse of this sunset or, or what's left of it. So let's just have a look at the uh, 5D Mark II. To get into the Magic Lantern menu you press the trash button in the bottom left hand corner. This will bring you to the Magic Lantern settings. If you scroll down to intervalometer, press your thumb in on the uh, little thumb pad. You can take a picture every five seconds, start after two seconds, stop after is where you can say how many shots you want to do. If it's disabled it'll just keep going until the battery runs out. Close that. So we'll just turn it on by pressing the, the middle button in the circle. Now we just press the finger down to get a half to get focus. And then it'll start. You'll see the interval I'm counting down between shots. And it will just continue like this until you stop it. Press the play button to stop the intervalometer. And if you scroll through, you can see the photos that you've taken. So that's pretty much all there is to taking time-lapse photos with Magic Lantern on a Canon 5D Mark II camera. This is a moon, moon lapse I did earlier. It was a 30 second exposure with two minutes in between photos. Reason being, it, it takes 30 seconds for the exposure to take the image and then another 30 seconds to one minute for the camera to process that image so you want to leave a big enough gap in between photos for the camera to finish doing that. Uh, this this one I set up and left it for about three hours. I stopped it and I exported all my photos onto my laptop and used the iMovie to cut it all together into a video.